What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Be The Fish. And uh, we're back with another tournament video for you guys up in the Adirondacks, one of my favorite places in the world. But before we do that, there's a couple things I wanna say. Uh, you might be able to hear it in the background. Uh, I have the whole current radar going right now. Um, Florida is about to get wrecked literally as this video uh, is dropping. Hurricane Milton is about to touch ground here in a few hours. And that uh, rings pretty loud for me because directly in line where it's supposed to touch down is my grandparents' house, my parents' house. It's hard to think straight today, that is for sure, worrying about uh, family and things like that. It's a tough time here in America in regards to our people just getting crushed with storms and things happening that are just, uh, it's not fair to the people. So, you know, especially to my, my people down in North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee. I'll leave links down below where you guys can go help those folks out right now. Uh, and I'll you know, keep updated with my social and things like that and the ways that we can help Florida after this because they're going to need it. Because, I mean, they already got hit too with that hurricane. So it's just um, repeatedly just getting beat up and uh, feel for those folks. And sad. It's really sad. Because there might not be folks that can even afford to leave. So I'm wishing them the best. If you guys are praying, people, keep them in your prayers. But I got faith in us as Americans and we're going to, especially our fishing folk, we're going to help each other out when we need it. So I'll drop the links down below. There's a kayak tournament you can jump into where all proceeds, shout out to Dwayne Wally at Tourney X, all proceeds for your entry fee go to help the folks over uh, in the Appalachian. Um, it's a great uh, group over there that's putting this together. Uh, Dwayne Wally has allowed uh, no fee. He waived all fees. And so we can, everything we put into there um, goes straight to help those folks. Uh, you can choose the fish or not. Uh, I, I won't be fishing it, but I, I hopped in there just to get my donation. I encourage you guys to do so. Uh, that link is down below where you can help. But crazy times, man. And uh, it's definitely stressful. And I hope that this video relieves some of that where we go fishing. We're going to catch some bass. You guys know in New York here, tournament day, it means wind and rain and nasty weather. And that's about on par for, for America right now. So we go fishing in that. We go catch some bass. Let's see if we can catch a dub. see anything in front of me. Can we stop ordering this bad weather, please? You gotta be joking. Goodness gracious. Good. Huh. You're joking. Well, all right then. Alfred, do you know if a 24 volt you can connect to your grass? My battery's dead. Yeah, and it was my spare one that was fully charged. It's already dead. I was trying to see that. I didn't know I was gonna come ask you before I run all the way back and get another battery. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I mean, you can try. I just, I, I can't, I don't know if they have regulators. Oh, it says as long as it's between 12 and 24, the fish finder will function properly. You might be good though. I'm just gonna connect my trolling motor battery to this thing. Oh, I'm just gonna disconnect the motor. Oh, you're gonna disconnect? Cause I'm gonna sit on this for a couple hours. I don't even know where the that actually what sucks is i don't have a freaking bolt to get my things off i don't have the no the oh, socket cool. socket wrench i have it in the truck that's my thing <laughs> dude <laughs> god damn it well i guess i'm going back that sucks at least by the time i get back it'll be light out yeah at least you'll be able to see no. oh, all right well i'll be back i guess okay 
<laughs> it is what it is, bro. I didn't check it. I could have sworn it was 100% because I charged them both and everything. No, I charged both. I charged two of the 50 amps and then used one yesterday and used one today. It's already dead. All right. Yeah. <laughs> well, that sucks. I don't need to use them. Just what I'm doing for the winning, what I think is winning fish, I need to have that battery. That sucks so bad. Gosh dang it. Well, whatever. Uh, it's always something I tell you. Well, there goes an hour of my tournament. Put in the wrong freaking battery yesterday. What an idiot. What an idiot. Hey, hey, hey. What a turd move. Don't be a dummy like me. <laughs> I always carry two. I have two batteries for my electronics and I have one backup. Or like when I go on these trips, I'll have a practice battery and then a tournament battery. That way I don't have to worry about charging. And so apparently last night and shuffling around everything, getting stuff ready, putting new batteries in, I must have took my battery out, wouldn't grab the new battery. And instead of putting the new battery in, just put the one that I used yesterday right back in there. Bonehead. Honestly, I'm not even mad about it. It's pretty funny. Pretty funny. So we'll do a little reach in here. I thought it was something wrong with my wiring or something like that, which thankfully it is not that. Makes me feel much better that it's just a dead battery. All right, we're ready to roll. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Alright, we are back. Back on the water. Let's go freaking catch some fish now that it's light out. Holy moly was it dark this morning. I don't even know if you guys could have seen anything that we were doing. On the water again. Seventeen seventy-five. Oh, there's one. You got a white minnow? You want a pack? Yeah. 18. 
18 guys Oh you f Yeah, if you get a second, just come swing behind me, I'll give you a pack. 16. Dude, they're all over the white. Yeah. Oh. Got it? Alright. Teen incher. Jesus. Switched up to the jerk bait. Man, what a crazy day so far. That's five. Submitted here. Everything is freaking soaking wet. Alright, let's see what we got. 86 and 3 quarter. I gotta get rid of a 16.75. Got it. Hoping that's not the only one over there. There were some big ones there in practice yesterday. That is... I think it went 18. Thank you. So right here you'll see, this is what I experienced a lot that day, where these fish, even though they're relatively untapped, were not easy to catch. They'd follow it forever, but with such clear water, they are smart fish. Uh, and so it was a lot of trying to throw different presentations and actions at them to get them to bite. And here you'll see I downsize to try to get a bite.
think it's got to beat a 17. Um, it might. It might be like a 17.25 or something. It's the only thing I can think of. Oh yeah. Seventeen seven five. Seventeen seven five guys. Alright, what do we got now? Eighty-eight three quarter. We need a big one. That is what we need. We need that big one. That's your island. Yes, I will be home tonight. Yeah. Oh, God. You are my good luck. Stay on. Oh, God. Oh, okay, he's still on. Hold, please. Said you are my good luck, thank you. <laughs> well, that worked out like a charm. Yeah. The key to fishing get service, call wife. Yes. Actually, I don't even know if he's gonna help. It's a big one, though. Um, Actually, I don't know if he's gonna help. Some things around the house, and then I'm gonna probably go early to dinner to see them. Tell them I said hello. For the rest of the day, unfortunately, it turned into a really slow bite for me. Catching some fish here and there, but really could not capitalize on bigger bites. Tried shallow, tried flipping docks, tried some more offshore stuff, and simply just was not able to get a big one. We had some fun in the midst of all that. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I love the Adirondacks. I love fish that are just freaking nuts. Uh, chasing baits. Uh, did not catch as many fish. The, the day before when I got out for practice for you a few hours, they were everywhere. Uh, and it was crazy, that storm front hit where there was, I mean, that, that was for up there, they're in a different region of temperature and climate than myself down towards the Finger Lakes and Buffalo area. And so I personally think that was their first cold front. It was like late August. I think that was our first cold front of the year. For the, oh, sorry, for the fall anyway. That was their, their first cold front to start that transition. I think that's why those fish were acting so weird. Um, because you guys saw earlier, there's a lot of fish that would follow. I had so many fish follow that would not eat anything. Wacky rig, drop shot, everything along the lines of that. You could throw those baits, but you're gonna catch really small ones. It seemed like the bigger the baits, the bigger the fish you'd catch, but there was obviously a small window in there and it was, it was interesting. I learned a lot from that day, but we ended up coming away with a dub. We got our first win of the year of Slay Nation, the last regular season event. Uh, pretty pumped to say that we did that. And uh, especially going into state championships, leading angler of the year, and uh, hopefully we can get that done. But hope, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Please go down and help people if you can. If you guys can spare five bucks, 20 bucks, whatever, to help those in need, our, our fishing people, our fellow Americans that need help, please do so. I'll leave the links down below. You guys are amazing. Like, subscribe. We got more big tournament videos coming at you.
Appreciate y'all. Tell your loved ones you love them. We'll see you guys in the next one.